Cathay Pacific, one of the most prestigious airlines in the world, has just publicly slammed Boeing over massive delays to the delivery of their much-anticipated 777X aircraft. But why does this matter so much? And how did they get here? Buckle up as we uncover how Cathay's shocking statements could spell a turning point not just for them, but for Boeing, Airbus, and even global air travel as we know it. Alex McGowan, Cathay's Chief Operations and Service Delivery Officer, said in an interview in Hong Kong that they wanted all their aircraft and would like them to be delivered at the promised time. He added that when they were not delivered on time, it was a disappointment to them. The Boeing 777X, originally expected to hit the skies by 2021, has faced delays stretching nearly five years, with delivery now anticipated in 2026 for Cathay Pacific, which ordered the 777X to replace its aging 777-300ERs and enhance its luxury fleet. These delays are more than a logistical issue. They're a major threat to the airline's competitive edge in the luxury travel market. The 777X was intended to offer Cathay's customers a new level of in-flight luxury, featuring a spacious cabin, enhanced fuel efficiency, and upgraded first-class seating that could rival any luxury service in the sky. As each year passes without delivery, Cathay finds itself in a position where it must keep its older aircraft flying longer than anticipated, making it harder to compete with airlines already rolling out newer, more advanced cabins. This open critique from Cathay reflects a broader frustration within the industry. Other prominent airlines, including Emirates, Qatar Airways and Lufthansa, have also voiced disappointment over the prolonged timeline for Boeing's delivery of the 777X. For many of these airlines, the 777X was seen as a cornerstone for expanding long-haul services and implementing premium features. But Cathay's reaction stands out because it's one of Boeing's longest standing and most loyal clients. The open discontent suggests a tipping point, one that reveals how Boeing's delays, coupled with their multiple whistleblower issues, are testing even the strongest of their partnerships, as Cathay's plans to modernize its fleet remain stalled. The airline is forced to look for temporary solutions like retrofitting older models or leaning on other manufacturers, namely Airbus, to fill the gap left by Boeing. The ripple effects of these delays are significant. Operating older aircraft increases maintenance costs reduces fuel efficiency, and may limit the availability of luxury offerings that Cathay's high-paying customers expect. Each of these factors could impact Cathay's bottom line, making it increasingly clear why the airline has felt compelled to publicly pressure Boeing. In a rapidly evolving aviation market, where airlines are competing for the most luxurious and efficient fleets, Every month without the 777X puts Cathay at a disadvantage, with Airbus making strides in rolling out its A350 and A330 NEO models on schedule, Cathay's dependence on Boeing now feels like a precarious position, especially as it watches competitors achieve the fleet upgrades it planned for itself. This unprecedented statement from Cathay isn't just a comment on a late delivery, it's a warning to Boeing that the airline might be forced to rethink its loyalty if its needs continue to go unmet. The partnership between Cathay Pacific and Boeing stretches back over half a century and has been a key factor in shaping Cathay's position as one of the world's premier airlines. Historically, Cathay has relied on Boeing to provide the long-haul aircraft essential to connecting Hong Kong with major cities across the globe. From the iconic Boeing 747 Queen of the Skies to the versatile 777-300ER, Cathay's collaboration with Boeing 
has been essential in its ability to provide high-quality service to both premium and economy passengers. Their relationship began when Cathay Pacific introduced Boeing 707s in the 1970s, quickly moving to the iconic Boeing 747s that transformed long-haul travel across Asia and beyond. The 747's spacious design, high passenger capacity and extended range gave Cathay a powerful tool in establishing itself as a leader in transcontinental travel. The airline heavily invested in 747s, using them to build routes from its Hong Kong hub to Europe, North America, and Australia. These aircraft allowed Cathay to expand its network, becoming one of the first Asian airlines to connect to North America directly. The Boeing 747 didn't just boost Cathay's route capabilities, it also helped the airline create a brand synonymous with luxury and innovation. As global travel boomed, Cathay Pacific became known for its high standards of in-flight comfort, setting itself apart with services that would become central to its identity. As technology progressed, Cathay Pacific continued to modernize its fleet, looking to Boeing's 777 models as the natural successors to the aging 747s. The Boeing 777-300ER in particular became a centerpiece in Cathay's fleet. Known for its long-haul range and fuel efficiency, the 777-300ER allowed Cathay to connect Hong Kong with virtually any destination worldwide, from New York to London to Los Angeles. The 777-300ER's capabilities not only reinforced Cathay's position in the market, but also became essential in the airline's profitability by reducing fuel costs on ultra-long haul routes, especially during times when fuel prices surged. Boeing's 777 models also allowed Cathay to improve the passenger experience. With roomier cabins, a quiet ride, and the opportunity to introduce first-class suites and lie-flat business-class seats, the 777-300ER became the backbone of Cathay's premium offerings. The reliability of this model helped solidify Cathay's reputation for quality, particularly as the airline faced increasing competition from other Asian and Middle Eastern carriers. When Boeing announced the 777X, Cathay was one of the first major airlines to place an order. The 777X was touted as Boeing's most advanced long-haul aircraft, offering unprecedented range, fuel efficiency, and passenger comfort. It represented the future of Cathay's fleet strategy with plans to use the 777X as the backbone for long-haul luxury, outfitting it with new first-class suites and upgraded amenities. The 777X's promised enhancements aligned perfectly with Cathay's vision of taking its in-flight experience to the next level, allowing it to compete with other luxury carriers such as Emirates and Singapore Airlines, both of whom were also among Boeing's 777X launch customers. For Cathay, the 777X order was a strategic move to modernize its products, differentiating itself in a highly competitive luxury market. Given the long-standing trust between Cathay and Boeing, the airline anticipated a seamless transition as the 777X would replace its older 777-300ERs enabling Cathay to maintain a fresh fleet while upholding operational efficiency. However, with delays extending nearly five years beyond the original delivery schedule, the strength of Cathay's partnership with Boeing has been put to the test. The 777X delays have disrupted Cathay's carefully planned fleet renewal strategy forcing the airline to keep older aircraft in service longer than intended. 
This has placed Cathay in an operational bind, as older planes incur higher maintenance costs and lack the advanced fuel efficiency that the 777X promised. Cathay's patience has been stretched, and the airline's recent public statements reflect an erosion of trust in Boeing's ability to meet its commitments. The delays in the 777X also pushed Cathay to look more seriously at Airbus models as alternatives. While Cathay had previously balanced its fleet with both Boeing and Airbus, the necessity of securing reliable aircraft has led the airline to increase its orders for Airbus A350 and A330neos. This shift indicates a diversification of Cathay's suppliers, an effort to reduce dependency on Boeing and ensure its fleet renewal plans stay on track despite the setbacks with the 777X. Cathay's increasing alignment with Airbus speaks volumes about the pressures Boeing faces. In a market where Airbus has managed to meet delivery schedules for its A350 and A330neo models, Boeing's delays are particularly damaging. Cathay Pacific isn't alone in seeking Airbus as an alternative, as other airlines frustrated with the 777X delays are placing orders for the A350, which provides similar long-haul capabilities. This change could permanently impact Boeing's position with Cathay, one of its most loyal customers. In the past, Cathay has shown loyalty to Boeing by choosing its aircraft as the mainstay of its international routes. But as Airbus continues to capture market share, Boeing risks losing a valuable client if it cannot regain Cathay's trust and meet the new 2026 deadline for the 777X. The 777X program encountered early issues with regulatory authorities, especially the USFAA, which imposed stringent certification requirements following Boeing's high-profile 737 MAX crisis. In 2019, after two tragic crashes involving the 737 MAX, the FAA and other international regulators began tightening their oversight over Boeing's certification processes. For the 777X, this led to an unprecedented level of scrutiny, especially for its new folding wingtips, a feature never before certified for commercial jets. These wingtips, which allow the aircraft to accommodate larger wings within standard airport gates, were a key selling point for the model. However, certifying this new technology required additional tests and compliance processes, leading to repeated delays in final certification. Delays were compounded by challenges with the aircraft's engines. Boeing partnered with GE Aviation to develop the GE9X engines, the largest and most fuel-efficient engines designed for commercial aircraft. Yet early testing revealed several issues, from compressor stalls to durability problems that required redesigns and modifications. These issues led to extended testing and delays in engine certification, pushing back the aircraft's production timeline by months. As with many industries, the COVID-19 pandemic wreaked havoc on the aviation manufacturing sector. When the pandemic hit in 2020, airlines around the world scaled back operations and aircraft demand plummeted. For Boeing, this meant significant disruptions across its manufacturing and supply chain operations. Production lines slowed down or halted altogether as safety protocols limited the number of workers on the floor. Boeing's suppliers also faced setbacks, with parts and materials delayed due to global supply chain constraints. This created a ripple effect, impacting timelines for the 777X, as well as other Boeing models. This drop in demand meant fewer test flights 
and limited opportunities for certification progress as Boeing had to postpone several key tests. By the time operations resumed, the delays had compounded, creating a backlog of testing and certification tasks. Given the financial strain and lowered demand, Boeing had to prioritize resources, impacting the 777X program further. The delays have cost Boeing both in time and resources, further straining its cash flow in a period when the company was already grappling with the financial fallout from the 737 MAX grounding. Beyond the regulatory and pandemic-related setbacks, Boeing's production process for the 777X faced significant challenges. During structural testing, an emergency exit door on a prototype failed under pressure testing, which showed the need for additional reinforcement in the aircraft's design. This unexpected issue required Boeing to redesign certain components and conduct further testing to ensure structural integrity, extending the timeline for production. Furthermore, Boeing faced a shortage of skilled labor as the pandemic forced many aerospace workers to leave the industry. This shortage impacted the entire production pipeline, leading to delays in assembly and quality assurance processes. Given the scale and complexity of the 777X, even minor issues could translate to weeks or months of delays due to the meticulous standards of aerospace manufacturing. The lack of 777X aircraft has led to quite a few forced alternatives for Cathay. One immediate consequence of the 777X delay has been Cathay's reliance on its aging Boeing 777-300ERs. Originally, the 777X was intended to replace these models, allowing Cathay to phase out older aircraft and offer upgraded amenities. Instead, Cathay is now forced to keep these aging jets in service longer than anticipated. While the 777-300ERs have served Cathay well, they lack the advanced fuel efficiency and the luxurious, spacious cabin designs that the 777X promised. Keeping these aircraft in service translates to higher operational costs and increased maintenance needs, which strains the airline's budget and limits its ability to enhance passenger experience. To partially address these challenges, Cathay has implemented retrofits on some of its existing 777-300ERs, outfitting them with modern in-flight entertainment systems and refreshed cabins. However, these retrofits are costly and still fall short of the cutting-edge amenities the 777X would have offered. Moreover, these updates don't come close to the fuel efficiency improvements that the 777X next-generation engines would have delivered, leaving Cathay at a disadvantage in cost per seat mile compared to competitors with newer, more efficient fleets. In response to the ongoing delays, Cathay has turned to Airbus, increasing its investment in the A350 series. The A350-900 and A350-1000 are efficient, long-haul aircraft that provide competitive range and comfort features, making them a viable, if imperfect, alternative to the delayed 777X. However, while the A350 allows Cathay to maintain operational continuity, it does not meet all the strategic goals the airline had set for its fleet expansion. Nonetheless, turning to Airbus represents a pragmatic decision, as it provides Cathay with a stable, reliable option to keep its long-haul network active and maintain customer satisfaction amid the delays. Originally, the 777X was supposed to debut an entirely new first-class suite that would redefine luxury for Cathay's elite customers. But without the 777X, Cathay has been forced to reallocate resources, retrofitting its existing premium cabins and making adjustments to its first-class offerings on older models. 
This retrofit process has been challenging because retrofitting an older aircraft's cabin is not only costly, but also limited in scope. Without the 777X next-gen amenities, Cathay has fewer options for implementing state-of-the-art cabin configurations, which has left it at a disadvantage compared to rivals who are rapidly modernizing their fleets. What does this mean for the future of Cathay's relationship for Airbus? The rivalry between Boeing and Airbus has always been intense, but with the 777X delays, the balance is tipping in Airbus's favor. Cathay's shift towards Airbus for its fleet expansion is just one example of a broader trend in the aviation industry, where delays and setbacks have eroded confidence in Boeing's ability to meet delivery schedules. With airlines around the world struggling to meet post-pandemic demand, Airbus has stepped up to provide timely, efficient solutions. For example, Airbus's A350 and A330neo models are filling gaps left by delayed Boeing aircraft for many airlines, including Cathay. This shift is significant because it shows a level of adaptability and responsiveness from Airbus that airlines increasingly value. Boeing, however, isn't out of the game. The company still commands a sizable share of the global aviation market, and the 777X, when it eventually launches, promises unparalleled range, efficiency, and passenger comfort. But the clock is ticking. If Boeing can't deliver the 777X by 2026, the industry might see a permanent shift towards Airbus, with long-standing Boeing clients exploring alternative fleet configurations. For Cathay, this would mean more Airbus planes in its fleet, which could potentially reshape their identity and position in the market. Cathay Pacific's frustration with Boeing over the 777X delays shows how intense the competition in the aviation industry's post-pandemic recovery and its decision to voice its disappointment so publicly is a wake-up call for Boeing, signaling that even long-standing partnerships can fray in the face of repeated setbacks. Will Cathay's shift toward Airbus become permanent? Or can Boeing regain Cathay's trust by finally delivering the 777X? Let us know your predictions in the comments below.